Want to know what Janet Jackson, Matchbox 20 and Lifehouse have in common with the UTEP miners? Well, they all went big in 2001. For the aforementioned artists, it was chart-topping hits. For UTEP, it was the last time they knocked off a ranked opponent at home. Could the miners take it back to the early aughts and send a ranked opponent packing? The number 24 ranked team in the country, the FAU Owls in the house at the Don and the Miners ready to get to work. But early they were struggling to settle in and had seven offensive turnovers, which handed the Owls a nifty 12-0 lead thanks to this turnaround jumper from John L. Davis. And that deficit is going to be tough to come back from for any team, let alone against the Owls. The Miners, though, persistent. They went on their own 5-0 run, the jumper from Calvin Solomon there. And he'd find the hoop again this time through traffic and draws the foul miners cut the lead to seven and the crowd is alive in the dawn a sight you love to see carlos lemus would see the miners get as close as six in the first the score 28 to 20 Two, and that really sent the crowd into a frenzy. But FAU able to pull away again. Nick Boyd this time. They go into the sheds up 37 to 24. The Miners with some nice moments in the second half, like the put back from Otis Frazier, the third here. But in the end, the Owls showing their class. They got the dub 67 to 59. That early 12 point deficit proving too much for UTEP to overcome. We got outside of ourselves. We were trying to do stuff we didn't really need to do in the first half. And they came out and took the lead early in the game. And we were just kind of fighting back the whole game. I'm proud of our team. We didn't quit, number one. Um, you know, we didn't, it would have been easy to do. You got your biggest crowd of the year. You're playing a really good team. It would have been easy to lay down and quit, and we didn't, man. We fought. We continued to fight. We played the 40 minutes all the way to the bone. So, hey, knocking off a ranked opponent at home will stay in 2001 for now. But I want to commend the crowd out there tonight. That was something else. Hands down, the funnest game I've seen all season in the Don. Head coach Joe Golding said the same thing. He wanted to thank you guys and apologize for his team's efforts. But he hopes they will be back better than ever. UTEP now have a week off before they play at North Texas.